Okay, so for some reason, I'm, I've been wanting to start in the back of the store. So that's what I'm gonna do again today. I'm gonna come to the back and kind of just work my way forward. So I am looking for brass or like gold frames because I'm wanting to do a gallery wall. So that's what I'm gonna be searching for first. So let's just come back here and see what they've got. Okay, I was having no luck finding any of the frames that I wanted, so I decided to go over and check out all of the artwork and see if I could find any spring pictures over there. Okay, y'all, so this is a beautiful vintage sewing machine table, and you will notice that they marked it down to $9.99. They did have it marked at $59, but it's been sitting here since December. I was here in early January, and $9.99 is a steal for a piece like this, y'all. I have a sewing machine that belonged to my grandmother that sits on the side of uh, my bed, and I use it as a nightstand, and I keep the top part open. I'll insert a clip here and show you how I have mine styled. Now, the open part where the sewing machine is, you would have to put some over that and I just used a large cutting board that I got at the thrift store however I am looking for something different to put there but y'all always think you could use that even as a desk for a small child or a little vanity and if I didn't already have one for $9.99 I would have snatched that up Okay, so when most people see this right here at the thrift store, they think, oh, that's wonderful. If I had a fireplace, I would love to have that to hold wood. But you can purchase pieces like this and use it to roll up blankets and put them in there. Put it in your guest room, your bedroom. This is also great in a bathroom. If you have the space for it, roll up your towels and put them in here. It helps to corral them, gives them a spot, and it also makes it look very pretty. Y'all know we're going to check out the basket section. I went to check out pictures and electronics. I just didn't see a whole lot that I had to have back there. This is pretty. I like that little green strip on it. Ooh, wait. Look at this, y'all. What is this? Oh, now, isn't this cute? seen one of these with a lid like that. Not crazy about that. Sorry about my bruise, y'all. I busted a blood vessel in my finger there and it made an awful bruise. I know that's ugly to look at. I apologize. Oh, this is kind of cute. You could paint this if you wanted to. I just don't know if I want to. <laughs> Let's see. What is this basket about? Oh. really kind of messed up though. I want to find some pretty vintage sheets like this for a guest bedroom for the spring. I could kick myself. I left some that I really like in a thrift store a while back. So I'm like, if I find some more, 
I'm not leaving them. <laughs> the dishes are also over here. I believe I just found some ironstone. Let's see what it says. It's a 33 piece set. So you have to buy all 33 pieces for $29. I know it sounds like I'm being rough with this stuff, y'all, but it, it really sounds worse than it is. Yep, iron stone, 33 pieces, 33 piece set. I just do not need that, nor do I really care too much. I'm not too crazy about that, so. It's this. It's got a blue stripe, I kinda like it. It's not Pampered Chef. Ooh, and these are cute too. I like the blue strap, they kind of match my big ones with the blue strap. Hmm. Cute. Y'all know I'm not leaving a piece of restaurant wear. Just can't do it. I have the big plates like this, and I love them. Now, isn't this a pretty little loaf pan? Mainstays, but I like the green. Kind of matches my kitchen cabinets. Believe it or not, y'all, I need some coffee mugs. Like all of my like regular everyday coffee mugs. Um, oh, what is this? Hold on. I only have like three. My husband has like eight or nine that he uses. And I'm like, how did that happen? What is this? $2.99. Is this something we can use? Hmm. Stacking mugs with coffee pot. Oh, it must have come with some little mugs, which don't have and don't really know that I have enough to even fit in there speaking of so I'm gonna look at these mugs and just see what I see now what is this with little strawberries on it how cute is that Avon <laughs> that's funny oh look there's a matching pair let me put this one up there with that what I'm telling y'all sometimes there will be matches to these mugs and stuff you just have to look a few miles over this music's getting really loud. I'm probably gonna have to do a voiceover or overlay of music of some kind. Sorry, I've been trying to really talk to y'all more in my thrifting trips, but their music. Let's see what this set right here is. Oh, okay, it's something. Let's see. Pasta, natural. Not my style, but all I could see was this. <laughs> I wanted to check it out real quick. And then just some more random dishes. Here's another set. What do you do? Light gray. Here's some of the mugs. Just n There's people in here, y'all, with buggies full. I mean, overflowing with stuff. Mm, let me see. I might need this for a lamp. I do need another shade, so I'm going to carry this around in my buggy and think about it. Let's check out the wood section real quick. I'm going to show y'all some of these buggies if I can get pictures of them, but I'm like, man, do y'all know something that I don't know here? Like, why are y'all buying so much? <laughs> what are y'all doing with all that? All right, let's just see what they got. Okay. I wanted to see what this was. A little wooden nativity set, honestly. That's so cute. I wonder if it's all in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to investigate this. Hold on. Goodness, y'all, look how cute this is. It is a wooden nativity set. I don't know if it's homemade or what. But it's only I took everything out of the box. Y'all know I tell you, you can take stuff out and look at it. Just put it back the best you can. Um, but yeah, I, this is perfect, and I would probably paint this, but I do love it, and it's a whole set for $2.99, so I think I'm going to go for it. And I wanted to see what this was right here real quick. Oh, I think I've seen one. Oh, you know what? I think, did I just get a platter that kind of looks like this? It's nothing old, but, hmm. I think I got like an old platter that looks similar to this hanging in my guest room and I wanted to come see I love like boxes and stuff what is this for $3.99 let me look well if I can get it open it's just a box nothing real special for $3.99 but I think I'm gonna leave that here keep looking what else they got over in the woods section baby stuff what is this 
of wood. Oh, I think that's like that. Oh my gosh. I have to take a small break and knock something off. Thankfully it didn't break, it was just wood. This is why all this stuff don't have to be on here like this. Can't hardly see. Oh. Oh. Okay, that left desk, so that's what this is. I wonder, does that come off? I'm not really sure if that comes off or not, so. I need something like that. But, okay, whoa, what is this? This is big. It's got a lip on it though, whatever it is. What is that? $5.99? I don't know, with, with this on it, what in the world? I'm over here in the metals section. It's pretty. Oh, it's only $3.99, I'm really shocked. I'm like really shocked. They normally price those up pretty good. And look here. This came across one of these at the Goodwill where I live. Oh look, $3.99. I know a lot of people like to have these. You can clean them up. Wait a minute, what is this under here? Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. And I love this because you can decorate with these. And it's only $1.99. And I think blue tags are half off today. This would be so cute for the spring to like prop up against something. Oh, going in the buggy. Okay, in case I didn't tell you how much this one was, it's $7.99. This is cute for $2.99. This does not have the patina on it that I like. Look what I just found, y'all. I wonder how much it is. Hold on. I'm nervous because I almost ordered me one of these offline. Let me see if I can find a price for y'all. I found the price. It was inside. Y'all, $5.99. This brand, and I'm not a brand person, but I love crossbody kind of purses. And I'm tired of the one I have. The one I've been using, I got at Goodwill a long time ago. And this one, I've been looking at these. I've been seeing advertisements for them. Bagalini is a good brand. And I love to be able to throw my phone in one pocket and my keys in another. It was not gray. But for $5.99, we're going to put this in the buggy. I think this is... Oh, yeah. This is a Bible cover, maybe? I wonder if anybody needs this. Is that what this is? Napkin rings, anyone? There's gotta be a craft or something you can do with these. Because those are cute. Just don't have a need for them. Try those. Not pressed. Not pressed. Hmm. All right, let's see what else they got. She said, if it is a Christmas item with a white tag, it's half off. But they are not putting all their Christmas stuff on sale yet. Has to have a white tag. This be cute for spring. Maybe. Let's leave that there. So I'm just going to check the small stuff here on the top real quick. Yes. Hmm. $2.99. I wonder if these candles all work. Hmm. Oh, wait. What is this? A card. Tons of purses. I love purses. Just found her something. <laughs> it's cute. I love them. That's green. All right, we're gonna go down this aisle and see what we can find real quick. Hmm, what is this? Bedia. Bedia. I don't know what that is. $4.99. Camera case, anyone? Nice. Case of Logic. I have one of those. It's a different style. But, we have all kind of stuff here. Oh my. Lap baby? Hmm. Sheet set for four. No, not four. $9.99. But I'm funny about my sheets, so I just don't know if I'd like those. Um, more candle rings. Those are pretty. This 
I wonder if this is one of those things that goes around the baby bed. And I think Kelsey might need one of these. So I'm going to take this out of the package and check it over. I'll let y'all know. Hmm. How much are these? $2.99. I don't know if that's a good price or not, though. I'm going to look. I'm going to look and see. 15 pots for $2.99. I am going to be starting seeds in a couple months, so. Florals here. So here's some Christmas stuff in the back. I'm gonna look through here and see if they have anything that I wanna put up for next year. I know y'all are probably sick of looking at Christmas stuff from people, but when you're a thrifter, you thrift for, or at least me, I thrift for all seasons all year and I just put it in storage until next year, especially if it's a deal I just can't beat. Now look at this wrapping paper, isn't that pretty? $2.99. Oh, um, Goodwill. Stop. This tree would have been very cute if it didn't have the heart cut out in the middle. <laughs> so we're back home and I'm going to share everything that I got with you real quick. The first thing that I want to share with you that I picked up was this beautiful little ironstone or stoneware china top plate. I have a whole set of big plates like this that I got at a garage sale and for only 79 cents, I have a hard time leaving these pieces behind. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you could use these if you find them in the thrift store. not sure if I got a good deal on this or not. I have not priced them at the store, but I did pick up this thing of Jiffy little pots for $2.99. They're three inch pots and I want to start some seeds here in another month or month and a half. And so I thought that I would just go ahead and pick these up just in case they're a little more expensive than this in the retail stores like Walmart or Home Depot or somewhere. They were brand new. Like I said, there's 15 in there. So I got these just so I could start some seeds in them. Okay, and I did go ahead and bring home this wooden nativity set for only $2.99. It was not on sale, even though it is a Christmas item. In January, they were not doing a discount on all of their Christmas items. So I did pay the full $2.99 for this, but it is the most adorable little wooden nativity set. Let me set it out for you real quick, just in case you missed it in the thrift store. I think that this little set is adorable, but there is one piece, and I did notice this in the store, that has some some damage but I think that's okay because I would really like to paint all of these pieces kind of the same color as this just so it would go better with all of my Christmas stuff now this one what I think I'll do is just put a little wood filler in there and kind of sand it down and touch it up with some matte black watered down type paint to see if I can get it to match that or I'll just ma I'll just paint excuse me all the black pieces to kind of match once I get that fixed and that's a project that I'll probably just work on next Christmas but overall for $2.99 I thought this little wooden nativity set was adorable so you cannot go wrong with using decor that's kind of out of the box and different and this little bunny cake pan was so cute i think this will look perfect hung up here in my kitchen for the spring and like easter season i love just how old the patina and everything looked and i was going to try to show y'all on the front here this is a wilton pan i don't know if you can see it very well but it is a wilton pan and for only a dollar 99 i think that this is going to be an adorable piece of decor. Here's what it just looks like on the inside. I mean, and, and you could make a cake with it also, but I'll show you where I'm thinking about putting this come spring and Easter. And I think it's just gonna give that old country charm look to my kitchen. So I love this.
Okay, so I was super excited to find this Bagalini, I think is how you pronounce it, brand crossbody bag, y'all. These are so nice. I've never seen one in the thrift store before, but I have seen them online. I'm constantly getting ads for the Bagalini bags. I'm not really sure why, but they, when I looked it up on their website, they are a very good brand. This was only $5.99, but this retails for like a lot more than that. So because I do thrift and I'm on the go so much, having a crossbody or something like this that I don't have to keep my purse in the buggy is so handy. So I love having this. I can put my keys, my sunglasses, my phone, my camera, even a little tripod will fit down in there. So I was super excited to find this Bagalini purse for only $5.99. So yes, I did. I got another one of these lampshades. I have a set of lampshades that look just like this that are in my master bedroom. I'll insert a clip here. I have them on some glass lamps that I got at Goodwill also. The ones in my bedroom I got at Salvation Army and I've seen several like them um, in the thrift stores here recently, but they are either way too big for what I need or they are too small. So I have this lamp here in my hall that I also thrifted at Goodwill, but I have had trouble finding the perfect shade and this one is going to be the perfect shade because it matches the ones in my bedroom exactly now i'm going to show you real quick also how i clean lampshades i get a lot of questions about that i have shared that in a video before but i'm going to do just a quick little how to clean your lampshade tip for you on this video okay before we go clean it i wanted to do up close just so you could see kind of how dirty and dusty it is and I only paid $2.99 for this. The sticker is upside down. Let me fix that for y'all. But I did only pay $2.99 for this. And I think that that is a wonderful price considering there is no rips, there is no tears, there is no stains. It's just dusty. And we're gonna solve that real quick. So let me show you how. Okay, so this is a little bit different. <laughs> this is not decor, but we saw these as we were checking out. So Elizabeth and I started digging through the buggy where all of these were, and we thought they were adorable. They are just Squishmallows. They are all the Squishmallow brand. And I guess with everybody cleaning out after Christmas, I'm sure that, you know, these came out of a kid's room. And I'm sure my daughters are gonna appreciate their kids getting these. But why I got them is because Valentine's Day is coming up and I have five little grands to buy something sweet for. And so I thought that these would be perfect. One is a shark, one is an eagle, and I'm not sure what this one is. And this one's a little octopus. I'm just missing one. So I'm gonna try to thrift that before Valentine's Day. And they're very clean. The only problem is on this one, it has a little stain here, but I'm gonna try to spot clean that and then run these through the washing machine washing machine, excuse me, I could not spit that out. But that's a tip for you. Look for things like this and then you can get some candy and a card or something like that to go to somebody for Valentine's Day, especially little kids. Mine love the Squishmallows, so they are gonna have such a fun time with these. A lot of these are priced at $3.99, but one of them was priced at $2.99, if you can see there. And the girl at the counter, she saw us going through the buggy and she overheard us saying, why is one $2.99 and some of them $3.99? She said, I'll sell them all to you for $2.99 each if you want them. <laughs> so we did. I ended up getting all of these for $2.99 each, which I didn't think was too bad because I only need one more and I'm sure I'll find something in the thrift store. And I can get some little candy and a card or something like that to go for all of the kids for Valentine's Day. Elizabeth did purchase a couple items on this trip. She got this little shirt here. I don't know the brand, it doesn't really have one, but she likes this 
top of little shirt. She can wear something under it. She loves the color. So she picked that up. It was $5.99. And then she did also purchase the little backpack. She um, needed something small. It was $5.99. It comes from, it looks like Target because it says Universal Thread, but she loves the green color as well. It's got all the nice little pockets, you know, nice and clean, nothing wrong with it. So she was excited to find the couple little pieces that she got also. Okay, I was also excited to pick up this little bumper pad for a crib. One of my daughters, Kelsey, has two young boys. One of them is still in a crib. So she was needing some bumper pads because the little one keeps sticking his legs through and all that sort of stuff. So I was excited when I pulled these out and checked them over in Goodwill that there was no rips, there was no tears, and I made sure that it would fit around the whole crib because in case you're unaware, she ordered some of these one time and it it only came with like half so it only fit like half the crib so you have to be careful if you're ordering these online and then i also picked up for her son riot he's three i picked him up these little converse and she said she will just take a magic eraser cleaning thing to these and they'll wash up just perfectly so she was super excited that i picked up both of these items for her all right so once again we filled up our cart with all kind of goodies we had a good time thrifting we hope that you had fun coming along with us Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate y'all so much. We love y'all, and we'll see you Friday with a brand new video.